Good morning, it's a beautiful Monday. Uh, I'm in Scotland and today I have with me, um, I'm really pleased to meet Leo Kakuel, who's currently in Finland um, for the Suderman Cup, is that correct? Yes, yes, totally. And, ha and how, is it, how has it been? So when did you arrive as well? Everything is, uh, yeah, everything is good. Like the setup is pretty amazing. I'm really excited to be here. So, yeah. Yeah. When, when did you arrive in Finland? Uh, we arrived, uh, we arrived uh, last uh, Tuesday. So it's, Tuesday. Been so it's been six days. It's been six days. And how has the COVID side of things been over there? Is, it, is things getting back to normal, do you feel? Or? Uh, outside uh, of the, outside the badminton, of the, I think in Finland everything is looking quite normal. But we are passing the level for the players and the other positions, so we still feel pretty pretty in the bubble. It's testing every two or three or four days, and we don't have the right to go out. The right to go out. It's normal given the it's normal given the stage for the condition. One player get one virus, one virus, very big mess, so we can understand. Yeah, it's, it's um. I oh, can't wait for it to get back to normal where you can actually. I feel that I really feel for badminton. It's crazy. I shouldn't feel for badminton players traveling all around the world. But the benefit of traveling around the world is that you get to see beautiful places and go to beautiful places when you can't really, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, tough for the players, especially in our team. Some of them are the first trip overseas, so it's quite mind blowing for them. Mind blowing for them, but, uh, but uh, yeah, if, uh, if there was yeah, not if, if the there was virus, not for, virus, I mean, we only hear I mean, we only hear virus for the so otherwise, we don't have any so we don't have to complain about it. I see it's a two sided coin, they say, there's the expression, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, and I believe your team's very young. Yes, yes, we only have for the studio, we only have, we only have, uh, have two, uh, yeah, only two, two players yeah, over two players 20, over and uh, yeah, even only uh, one player over 20, all the rest of the 20, and we have, I think, four players under 17, so yeah, it's, uh, I think we have, by far, the youngest team. Wow, that's a, that's a fantastic experience for them, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a once in a lifetime yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, and how it's uh, everybody must be so excited to see all the stars, um, all of the all the stars from all around the world. I guess all these players, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, when, when we arrive at the hotel, hotel the first time, they couldn't believe who was was eating next to them at dinner or who was taking the elevator with them. So they just started taking pictures with the players. <laughs> just uh, they didn't do that. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. And tell me about badminton Tahiti. Is it a very popular sport? No, no, no it's, it's not very popular. popular. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's gone well, well for the past, past uh, 10, years, 10 years, like 15 like years. years. And then, uh, uh, but it's not, it's not, not really not popular. popular. We have, we have uh, about, about 700, 700 uh, registered players. Player. Really? It's quite, uh, it's quite yeah, it's quite. Am I, is it, are you from the main city? Is it, is it Papet, is it called? Yes, yes, yes. yes. And that's where the badminton. And do people travel? It, 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 do, do, does everyone on the island travel to Papet to play then? No, we have, no, we uh, have, we uh, have four we clubs have four on Tahiti, on, 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 on the island. island. So, so we have, uh, uh, we have one club in Papet, one in Kumawiya, the other one in Tarawao. And here, so there is different places. Yeah, I presume it's. I don't know. Is it? Are people that enter badminton really into badminton? You know, I find I've interviewed a lot of players who are rural, you know, living, you know, in the highlands of Scotland and that kind of thing. And there's not a lot to do, but one thing you can do is focus on something. And when you get into badminton, I feel that it's the kind of thing you could play every single day of life. Uh, and are these kind of facilities available? Uh, it's uh, uh, quite, uh, quite tough, tough in Tahiti. We, we only have really one really, really good really hole with, uh, uh, like, like on Tahiti closed, closed and, and uh, with uh, eight groups. Otherwise, it's like, like multi sports facilities, and sometimes and because, because, because the weather is quite warm, warm and hot in Tahiti, so uh, sometimes uh, it's not very. The isolation is not really good, so there is some rain and stuff. So 
it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's we have to, <laughs> we have a lot of, of trouble, trouble, but uh, we managed, uh, to, managed to, to arrange around that. Uh, that we have a good community, and, community and, and yeah, the, the, the number of players 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 yeah, we travel, yeah, we once, travel or once or twice a year, twice mainly in Oceania region. Oceania region. We, uh, we, uh, the only time I the think we travel, we travel outside of the uh, Oceania region was in 2019. 2019 uh, uh, I went to the, uh, the uh, World Junior Championship with the Olympic 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 but, uh, otherwise it's mainly in, uh, in the Pacific uh, region. Pacific region yeah. That's absolutely, that's amazing. And tell me about this tour, Is it? are you are you strictly only in Finland? Have you got other places to go within in Europe? I uh, know we we no, we uh, just uh, and then we go to Denmark for the Denmark for the World Cups and then we straight back straight yeah, yeah, straight back yeah, to Denmark yeah, straight back to Denmark and the same team and do you think this do you think this is going to become the start of something you know when that, now you have a team that can travel I guess it's... yeah I hope yeah, 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 I, I hope, hope so I hope the the, the the players will uh, realize yeah, that yeah, they realize yeah, that that's really that's I hope it will inspire oh I think it's an amazing Inspiration. I think. Yeah. I think it yeah. must be absolute. So you're, you're. I don't mean to be funny, but you're, you're the old guy. <laughs> yeah, they think. Yeah, they think. <laughs> by far, by far. How old are you, Leo? I'm thirty-four. I'm thirty-four. You're, th- you're thirty-four. So are you? The, you yeah. must be the dad, are you? You're the, obviously the development yeah, officer for Babbage. So you're the dad, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Are you the are you the COVID officer as well? You must be. Sorry. You Sorry? must be the COVID officer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah everyone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do. Don't forget to put your mask on. Don't just keep your distance. All that <laughs> stuff. And so can you? You know, in the hotel, can you have? Are you in the bubble with other players or just your team? I mean, are you allowed to go and you know you? you no, know, it's, do you uh, have gym the, sessions uh, of your own? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, all the players yeah, are in the players same hotel. hotel, so, so and, uh, uh, also I think uh, some, also some of the officials too. And, uh, uh, yeah, there is a there yeah, is a gym. We have to book for gym session day and then can then also book for practice. Book for practice. Uh, uh, and the hotel is very nice. The hotel is great, and the the organization of the the hotel is really good. Really good. So far. And tell me about tell me a little bit about your badminton, Leo. When did you start playing, and why did you start playing? Uh, I, studied uh, in, uh, I studied middle in school, uh, middle when school when I was uh, when I was middle school in France, and then I I only played at school, and it's only when I arrived in Tahiti fifteen years ago. I arrived in Tahiti, and it was the it was the the start of Tahiti badminton. I started with Sonia around the spring year, so I was there from the spring from the beginning, and I was a student at the university. You were nineteen. Sorry, you were nineteen. Yes. 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 Well, you're so you're older than those people, those that team of yours. <laughs> when you moved there, and there wasn't even a club, there wasn't yeah. even a facility. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And how do you, how do you continue to develop? And I suppose it's a it's going to be a great big eye opener coming to the uh, the Sudman Cup and seeing the standard of play of the international players, and it'll be a big eye opener for these guys, and it gives really give them something to learn. To, to aim towards, isn't it? And to see the standard yeah. you need to be to yeah. compete at these levels, right? Yeah, because like, yeah, we have two or three players in the team, quite team, young for 2016, and they, they, they already they, say, they've been saying for one three, I want to be the greatest badminton player in the world, and they have really good, good aspirations, and I hope this will really be like open the right, very inspiring for them to see that, to see what you can do to be one of the best players in the world, even to be a professional badminton that's like the past week, like the past they have to realize that. They have to realize Yeah, yeah. I think it's, you know, can I think losing can go one of two ways. I'm, I'm quite interested in the subject, but you don't often get to talk about it. Not many professional players want to talk about when they lost, um, yeah. <laughs> funnily enough. Yeah. But I, I've, I do feel that I, I think there's a lot to learn from, from losing, you know. Um, my... Um, I, one of my first interviews was a Scottish player, Jim Mailer, who went to a tournament, the Scottish Open, for the first time at, I think, 17 or 18. 
and he walked on court first year playing and he got beat um it was 15-1 at the time so playing to 15 right um so he got beat 15-1 and he came away and said and he was humiliated he was i think it was 15-1 15-2 or something uh and he was just humiliated and he just thought that that cannot happen again and he trained and he trained and he trained and the next year he played the same guy and beat him <laughs> You just, you know, yeah, I think it, it really yeah, can give you yeah. something, you know, that just that, um, just a realisation of how, yeah, I, I suppose there yeah. must be a lot of social yeah. media watching play, I mean, I watch a lot of badminton, I suppose on TV, see these players, you must have watched a lot of YouTube and that kind of thing and learn, right? Yes, yes. 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 definitely, the kids, yes. uh, the, the team, they are always watching the tournaments, they learn a lot from that, and now they, now they, like even yesterday, we played like yesterday we played against, uh, against Chinese Taipei, Chinese Taipei and, uh, and uh, I mean, uh, we didn't have like, we, didn't have, we, we knew where we were. There was no high no expectations. High expectations and, uh, and, uh, and the kids, after the when they after went up court, uh, I talked to uh, uh, especially Elias, we played the men's singles, it's 14. say, I just want to go back to the ATM train. He said, I just want to go back to the ATM train. I don't want to lose time. I want to go back to the ATM train. That's absolutely amazing. And, and they should, you should really organize. And, and I mean, the, Tahiti looks amazing, right? I think you should yeah. organize a tournament yeah. in Tahiti. And you will get... Yeah, we did already. We, we, did, already. we, we did. Yeah, we did. From, yeah, we did, from, we did, did from, the we four events between event. 20, 20, 20, 10 and, no, 2029 and 2016. We organized the uh, four or five international events. Event. And uh, uh, the one in, uh, one in uh, 2016, uh, 2016 was at the end of the Olympic qualification. So we had a good number of international players. It was an international challenge. We had like 80 players from 30 different countries. But uh, th I mean, that is a place. Tahiti is a place to come <laughs> for a badminton. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's amazing. And, cause, sorry, uh, going off off subject a, a wee bit. How being such a small island, how has it been affected with COVID? Has it been okay? We've worked out COVID, COVID, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we, we, we've, we've been okay, okay uh, uh, until, until uh, last, last month, month and last month with the Delta variant. Delta variant uh, been, uh, we've been in lockdown, lockdown for one month. One month. Right. So, but so, nothing has been. We, we've, we've been. been yeah, there yeah. yeah. was not too many cases. Too many cases uh, only for the past two months, it's been a bit a bit dangerous. But otherwise, we've been okay. That's fantastic. No, that's good. Just suddenly, I'm just suddenly conscious and aware of these, you know, small islands that so bad can be so badly affected, or 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 by contrast, be totally unaffected, right? Yeah, because uh, we have the, the yeah, facilities, because, like uh, the hospital is pretty small and we don't have too many beds in the hospital, so it's, uh, yeah, yeah, we are, it's so quite managing for the authorities to monitor the number of beds. How did you end up moving to Tahiti when you were 19? My parents were uh, school teachers and uh, we traveled a lot. And, uh, we ended up in Tahiti for a contract. They, they, they had a contract for four years and then after this, I decided to stay. I didn't want to leave. And your family is all still over there? Uh, my parents, yeah, my parents, uh, my uh, parents they left they and uh, uh, they come back, uh, came back, and now they live there, and I have two brothers in there. Wow, it must be an amazing place to live. Just a, They talk about an outdoor life, it just looks absolutely phenomenal place to live. It's, yeah, uh, yeah. I can't, yeah. I can't yeah, imagine then, yeah. being in, you know, yeah, you're in Finland now. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's quite yeah. Uh, Quite yeah, different, and quite I've been lucky enough to, to travel a lot. Yeah, yeah. Tahiti is definitely the place. Uh, uh, there must be a lot of your team that have never travelled. Yeah, yeah, some of them yeah, never went, of them went to, many of them never went to France, and for half of the team, it's their first international event, so it's crazy when you come from local tournament in Tahiti straight to Sri Lanka. It's amazing. That's, that's, that's absolutely amazing. amazing. And what have you got on? To, what's on? What's your next games? Uh, 
Uh, we should have, uh, uh, hopefully, Ocean uh, Attempts, uh, like Continental uh, Championship, uh, uh, championship uh, of the Ocean uh, region in uh, February, February in New Zealand, uh, uh, then maybe uh, South uh, Pacific, maybe, uh, like the uh, South Pacific it's like the Olympics of the, like Pacific, the region. Olympics of the Pacific region. Fantastic. And what about the Sudaman Cup? Is there many roads? Have you still got on with that? So we, so we have uh, Korea tomorrow and Germany uh, on Thursday morning. Fantastic. <laughs> It's, I'm sorry, I'm jumping about all the time here. How does how does it sustain financially in Tahiti? Is it is a commercial sponsor? What do you do with that? Uh, we no, we don't have a lot of sponsor. We, yeah, we have a lot. Of, yeah, we have a lot of help from the French government, from the Ocean uh, Ocean uh, Ocean 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 for us. Yeah, it's difficult. Are, are there any? Is there is there is there much commerce in, in Tahiti? Is there business? Is there a lot of business over there? Uh, and uh, business, yeah. business, yeah. Business, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The main, yeah, yeah. But the, the, the main, main, the, like the main resources, like the resources, the tourism. Resources, well. the tourism. Yeah, of course. It, yeah, of course. It, I see. There's not a lot. Of, there's not a lot of money. So that's good. Germany and uh, and Korea. Did you say? Yeah. Yeah. And what's the best? What's who's who's doing best? How's your singles play coming on? Is it good? Fourteen? Did you say? Yeah, 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 uh, I'm not. Uh, I just put my, uh, my, my name on the. I I just uh, I I just put my name on the team just in case we have someone injured or someone injured or COVID. I don't need that. I, I, uh, I just prefer to let the kid in for the. And who's the coach? I'm the coach. Yay! 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 How do you how do you coach? What do you believe? Are you a very physical kind of coach? Do you give them physical training, or do you have somebody that deals with performance and that kind of yeah. thing? Yeah, yeah, we we do yeah, we, we, we do, do some physical do some training at but, but, but uh, I I'm lucky because most of, most of the team like they, they are really, really uh, they, uh, good athletes and they they, they take they care of what they eat, they eat, they, they, they get to well, well, they, they are pretty fit. So, so oh, I think I'm really lucky with that. So. We saw lots of lot the tactics, the tactics and technique, and, uh, and uh, we, we watch sometimes we watch we watch video with some of the players, and, 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 and I've been I've been lucky to have uh, like a I've traveled a lot in New Zealand, Australia, to badminton Oceania, so and I I've learned a lot from some coaches that is very there. Especially for Jiu Ma, Jiu Korea. She's now uh, coaching uh, Korean team, and she she used to live in uh, New Zealand. Uh, uh, I've been I've been lucky to to go and train with her and learn from her in New Zealand. And are you interested in coaching as a whole, Leo? Is that where you'd like to go? Do you see yourself being a coach in the future? You know, becoming a. a you, are you are you interested yeah, yeah, yeah. in that? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, I, I don't know. I've, I've been coaching the National Squad in Tahiti for six or seven years now, now. and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's it's kind of the main main, main focus, focus of my job, job for the past five, five years. years. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I, I definitely yeah, enjoy that. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. 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 amazing how much you can learn now. I think you know you can. There's because of social media and YouTube, and you know, I'm I'm quite interested in keeping it fresh. You know, when you. I've spoken a lot to Daniel McGee in Ireland, and he, you know, he talked about learning and and how you develop. And I was actually talking to a couple of the national players in Ireland. And I said, "How do you think they learn? How do you think you know you go in you go in five days a week and get coached? And how do you think they change what they you know when you walk in and they say I don't want to do this and do that? You know, where does it where does yeah, it come yeah, from? Like, you know, yeah, uh, definitely from YouTube. Yeah, we try to communicate sometimes with some of the players and. Uh, yeah, it's de definitely YouTube is really, really helpful. Yeah, fantastic. Good.
Good, well, good luck. I'll let you get on with your day. And uh, thank you. It hasn't taken too long. It's only, it's only 20 minutes. It's just fine. <laughs> thank you very much. And enjoy the uh, the very... What's the temperature like in Finland just now? Uh, it's, it's okay. It's uh, been sunny for the past two days. So it's it's good. 15, You're lucky. 15, so, yeah, so yeah, 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 it's good. Would you like to make a shout out to anyone while I've got you? Sorry? Sorry? Would you like a shout out to anyone while I've got you? Maybe a team? Sorry, I don't know. Would, would you like to say hello to anyone while I've got you? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, uh, I would like to say hello to everyone in Pushpur in Asia and everyone around the world. Hello from, from Haiti, come and see us. From see us. <laughs> I, am, I am with you, brother. Thank you. Good. Enjoy. Thank have you, a good, have a great day, Leo. Thanks for your time and good Thank luck you. to your team. Come Thank on, Tahiti. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. Au revoir.